Gaming and virtual reality has often been accused of uh, uh, being a form of escapism that actually takes us away from the material world and in, in some respects perhaps distracts us from uh, many of the problems in, in material reality. But I, I guess we'd like to find out whether um, there are ways in which virtual realities and gaming could in fact bring people back to thinking about um, the, the, the issues that affect um, the material world. Initially I've been playing this game for probably about 10 years and I've noticed that over a period of time the game designers have started to integrate into the game aspects of contemporary culture not only in terms of advertising and politics but also in terms of environmental issues. It might be a long drawn out line to sort of say that this particular game features environmental issues but clearly as I've been playing I've noticed waste, trash references to climate change have all started to appear in the game. About three years ago I bought myself a PlayStation and then started to learn how to use the Rockstar Editor which is the in-game way of making the footage so you can record your gameplay and then in a sense you reinsert yourself into the game like a filmmaker or a cameraman and you can reposition yourself in a kind of 3D space thinking about lens, angle, perspective, movement, all those sorts of same sort of ways in which you might move in the real world exist in the game. So we wanted to involve students from English and from geography who've been studying environmental issues as part of their degrees and we wanted to bring them into the project because they are all in some way experts in thinking about environmental issues and how they're represented in literature and in film. They came at the work with really interesting perspectives, sometimes quite kind of critical perspectives actually, and we had really um, heated and productive discussions around things like gender um, and capitalism and the, and the violence as well that's in the, in the game Grand Theft Auto. So these discussions really kind of provoked us to, th to rethink the film in various ways as, as we went through. What I hope the audience takes away from the film is perhaps a sense of being unsettled. So the film is incredibly beautiful and compelling in, in many ways, but it's also quite disturbing or disjointed and some of it kind of doesn't make logical sense. And I hope that that will kind of provoke viewers to, to go away and to think further about what it is that they've seen and to, to puzzle through um, the perhaps slightly conflicted responses they may have had to, to the film. I think this idea that only young people play games is slightly misplaced. I think that we can all learn new things, learn new ideas. I think communicating ideas about change, about climate change, things that we can do to maybe mitigate some of those things. We all should take an interest, whether we're Greta Thunberg, you know, as a teenager, or whether you're a pensioner. And clearly, me playing this game as an older person, uh, you know, I've had to learn all the techniques of in-game machinima, and you can do it, you know, we can all learn new things and uh, have, you know, use those uh, mechanisms to communicate to wider audiences, and that's what I've tried to do in this game.